Hi guys, my name is Nikit from Medivar Studios and I am the host for today's show and today we have Celestron Power Seeker 60AZ Telescope which comes with the magnification of 60AZ uh, This thing is heavy and the weight is uh, 2.4 kgs It's mentioned over here and this is one piece Okay, now let's start unboxing and uh, I'll be showing uh, setup and unboxing and review of this telescope and in the last uh, the full video. Okay guys, let's begin. So guys, before we start the uh, video, we just uh, see the glimpse of the uh, specifications and all. So this is power vehicle 60 uh, telescope 60 mm refractor includes full weight height aluminium tripod with accessory tray and this includes two eyepieces and this is 525 power and features correct image orientation uh, for land and sky viewing this is for both terrestrial and land guys and this includes a bonus astronomy software and a 3x barlow lens and it triples the magnifying power and now this thing was very easy to assemble and it's written here it's easy to assemble okay now let's see about the product uh, descriptions like the eyepieces uh, and all And now these are the product specification. This comes with 60mm aperture refractor telescope, 70mm focal length f12, alzithene mount which is the tripod and coterie glass telescope optics 20mm uh, 35x eyepiece and 4mm eyepiece which are two eyepieces 175x, 4mm comes with 175x magnification barrel lens which is 3x 105x to 525x erect image diagonal 1.25 finder scope 5 to 24 full height aluminium tripod and accessory tray and bonus astronomy software download and now we'll see what are the things in this product okay let's see so now i have removed all the things from the uh, package and this is the manual this thing has a CD and comes nicely packed and the next thing
back into the box and I'll try and show you the next thing. guys yeah this thing's heavy guys oh my goodness it's awesome guys it's really splendid this is not a bit been seen and this thing comes with air wrap i'll just remove it out of the cover and yeah it comes neat it's so neat and clean guys actually the celestron is from uh, usa i hope because i had read it in the warranty manual and all it was saying usa uh, but it's made in china guys hmm this thing that rod which we saw is going to be attached over here Wait a minute guys there's something in the box What's there guys Oh it's the screws which will be attached to the telescope tripod and the telescope itself and next it's obviously tripod guys let's see the tripod I'll just clean this place and here's the telescope uh, i mean tripod guys this thing is nice and it has a huge packing i just removed it out of the cover and i hope you can see this is the base height it's not at all extended yet and if you extend this thing it's uh high guys okay now let's see the let's see how to assemble i mean the setup thing okay let's see guys so guys this is the uh, size which is there uh, when this thing is not folded this is the basic height and now to set up this this thing you have to release the thumb screws i have given a voice over because the quality was not good so now you just have to turn the thumb screws and release it down like this uh, these thumb screws are very easy guys there are three thumb screws and yeah you can see it guys and do make sure to tight it fully as it uh, will be loose and the next thing which you have to do is uh, uh, fix the uh, that tripod tray accessory tray this thing you can fit lenses afterwards in the later part of the video i'll be showing you the like how to fix it and you have to just turn it uh, just keep it on the tripod and turn it and the next part is you have to uh, make sure uh, you attach a rod to the telescope and fix it inside this thing and guys you have to loosen this before you start uh, start and this is this thing turns 360 degree and 180 degrees it's very cool right and there's a thumb screw 
over there near the um, telescope's rod where you fix it and you have to release that thumb screw and keep it somewhere and you have to take the rod which I showed you in the other part of the video and see here guys and you have to hold that thing and I'll just keep it on the tripod stand and I'll turn it guys it's very easy there's a, a whole like a circle thing in the rod you have to turn it it will be very easy I'm showing you guys there now it's almost fixed and now let's see uh, no guys it's not yet fixed like it's a major mishap and now you have to release this thing and guys see this it's very tall the telescope is it itself is tall guys and you have to turn it guys and while using this thing it will be written celestron 60 az you have to like uh, that uh, font should face down guys downwards and you have to lock in the thumb screw guys and these things comes with the uh, whole like fitted with uh, uh, caps and all it's very nice and you have to take the uh, there are two uh, thumb screws which I showed in that part of the video and like this you have to turn it guys and make sure it's locked in place and next is the mounting of the finder scope which will look like this and guys while mounting the finder scope in the middle there are three notch screws and first while you are tightening it you have to tighten two screws first afterwards you have to tighten the last one and these things are also thumb screws on the telescope you have to undo them and you have to keep it in a safe place guys because they are so small and guys this uh, and now you have to fix it in the place where there are positions to fix it also like uh, the plus in the middle thing will be uh, you need to align it and it's very easy guys this thing was very easy to align and see guys I'm showing you how to that thing which I said in the other part of the video this finder scope is pretty accurate guys like how it works means the pl there will be a plus in the finder scope and uh, the in the middle of the plus there's like a dot if you put it there if you focus on something in the telescope you can see like that itself and i'm removing all the caps uh, and some people complain that it's nothing visible because you, uh, one reason is you would have not removed the uh, caps and uh, and the another reason is and the another reason is while mounting the barrel lens they put it at the smallest point like 
how do you i say you guys uh like you need to use a barrel lens while you are looking at a longer distance not at a shorter distance guys that's a problem and now i'll just mount the diagonal and these are 20 mm and 4 mm i pieces there are two screws on the telescope's uh, end point you have to like tighten them a lot guys because there are chances of it falling and there's a screw on top of this it's this also i piece fitter and uh, yeah guys and i'll be showing you how to mount the barrel lens and it's very easy guys i'll just remove the cap of the telescopes and there are uh, note guys there are two caps and uh, uh, guys uh, there are two caps which you can see now and you need to remove only one cap guys and guys you just saw like the 360 rotation and the 180 degree rotation you have to release the notch before rotating it uh, this is the 180 degree rotation and it turns the whole 360 degree and now i'll be showing you how to mount the barrel lens which is very easy guys if you mount the barrel lens on top of the diagonal it will give you just 3x and if you want to increase the magnification for 3.5x you have to mount it over there in remove the diagonal and mount it guys and if you don't believe me guys you can check it out in celestron uh, youtube channel and this is a very good choice for beginners telescope and you have to mount it like that guys the first the diagonal and after i mean the barrel lens and after the diagonal and the ips it's an you can choose guys which to mount 20 mm or uh, 4 mm and yeah guys now everything's ready and uh, guys if you do like my channel subscribe and the price of this thing is current price in 2020 uh july it's uh 36393 guys and while you have to mount a solar filter over here you have to mount it through this thing guys just a small opening should be there and be careful guys hi guys if you like the video please like share comment and subscribe to my channel lyy studio and do comment what you think about the video and the editing which is a new editing app i'm going to test it out soon okay and new videos are going to come out soon so please subscribe bye bye let's meet in the next video guys bye guys